Aside from traditional print, um, DG3 is really a solutions provider to their customers. We have everything from promotions to pick and pack, to hand assembly, to web development and uh, marketing. We primarily focus on the pharmaceutical and financial markets, but uh, we provide services to uh, Fortune 1000 companies that cover all industries. So DG3 is a fantastic customer to HP, both with our Indigo product line, with the B2 12,000 press they have, and of course, our HP PageWide web press T250 HD. In DG3's case, they installed this press as a T230 back in 2013. At HP, we have offered our customers a lot of unique advantages. First of which is the ability to upgrade your asset in the field when you're ready. So for DG3, they were able to take the press that they installed nine years ago and upgrade it to our latest and greatest spec. They went from T230, went past T240, and right to T250. So they were able to take advantage of our Brilliant Ink set, which gives them the ability to run on coded or uncoded media. Uh, you know, here today, I've seen them, or in the last two days, I've seen them run on 60 pound uncoded letters, all the way to nine point postcards being ran in line through their Harrison Bruno coder to be ready for the mail screen. So, HP has some unique advantages in how we use our technology. We are the only OEM press manufacturer to offer thermal inkjet print heads. So what's that mean to you? Thermal inkjet gives you four key advantages. First off, no purging. So other inkjet uh, options in the marketplace require a mechanical purging of ink to fire their heads healthily. At HP, we don't need that. There's no waste drum of ink on this that you have to pay to spray it and then dispose of it. User replaceable print heads. When the operator of this press has an issue, he can go up, take a print head out, put a new one in, and he starts running again. There's no downtime, there's no timely, or waiting for a service tech to come up, no costly calibration process. The press is ready to run when you are. We also have nozzle redundancy built into our technology. So on our T250 that we're seeing right here, we have four times nozzle redundancy in CMY and eight times in black. We also make a 42 inch product in the market. On that press, you have eight times nozzle redundancy in every color. Finally, we have dual drop weight in these print heads. We've got a ton of nozzles packed very close. Dual drop weight allows you to really go after that offset class quality give the smooth skin tones, the beautiful blue skies, and really take advantage of all that the Brilliant Ink set has to offer. Um, so with that, let's walk a little further down the line and talk about some of the other innovations that customers like DG3 are taking advantage of. So we have an onboard vision system on this press. So the vision system is monitoring quality as we're running, looking for voids in ink. So the vision system is going to be looking at your RIP file output, saying, I think there should be some cyan here, I don't see it. It raises its hand, or it will raise its hand, alert your operator, turn the light tree yellow to say, hey, this needs a look. So just one more way that we're able to offer our customers the assurance that they're getting the best quality at all times. And whether you have a fantastic pressman like they do here at DG3, or you've got someone newer to the industry, less experienced, the press has all the tools and systems to help make sure you're getting consistent, high quality output, job after job, piece after piece. As we walk down the line a little further, you're gonna see the Harrison Bruno inline web coding solution that we offer. So this coder allows our customers to run either AQ or UV in line with the press at rated press speed. So everything from more durability of the mail stream but also value add. So right now the US Postal Service has a promotional or a promotion going on where you get 4% top line of your mail cost back by doing a tactile sensory enhancement. DG3 can put soft touch coating in this, put this on their piece and then take advantage of that 4% postage rate back. We all know the industry is short on paper and labor. This is extremely easy to operate. So one button startup, one button cleanup easy to set up, easy to switch between different analog weights, coder or coder sleeve cuts, all that really making sure that it's truly automated and integrated with your press. This is not an add-on. We co-developed this with Harris and Bruno to make sure that it was easy to operate. Technow's got a long experience with HP as well, both the page-wise side and the Indigo side. We've got products for each. We've got relationships with both of those teams at HP. TechNow has a bi-weekly call with the HP engineering team. So the HP page-wide folks, the TechNow engineering folks, we get together 
make sure that our two products are going to operate seamlessly. Any new features that come out on one side or the other, we'll make sure again that there's no integration issues as the two products come together in a customer environment. We have a new exciting product for the Indigo 12,000, 15K, 100K B2, B2 family. Our stack 1212 will take those large B2 sheets from the Indigo presses, break them down into final page sizes, as small as, for instance, a four by six postcard, so that a customer can quickly and seamlessly uh, have a finished product ready to go into a mail stream, for instance. At the end of the day, it's all about keeping customers up and running. TechNow new products, TechNow field engineers, we're all about making sure that a customer gets the most productivity out of his press and that there is no downtime from TechNow equipment. TechNow is well aware of some of the problems going on in the industry these days. Problems with paper shortages, labor shortages. And TechNow products help to address those, those situations. On the, on the labor shortage side, for instance, our products are very user friendly. Our GUI, our graphic user interface, is we've been told by folks who've used both us and the competition that our interface is the easiest to use in the industry. So if you're bringing new people in and needing to get them up and running on new equipment, they can do that quickly with TechNow equipment because it is so easy to use. On the paper side, TechNow also helps address the paper shortages in the industry. First of all, our Revolution 50 line, for instance, runs across an entire broad range of papers from 40 to 300 GSM, coded, uncoded. So we're very forgiving of the different papers that you might want to run through your system, and we can accommodate them. TechNow perforators can help you process, add perforations, add punches in line so you don't need to source special pre-converted papers. TechNow Splicer allows you to minimize paper waste. When you splice um, with an automatic splicer, you don't go down on your inkjet press. You don't have that extra kick of paper that has to be wasted as you go from one roll to another with a conventional single unwind rewind system. We needed speed, that's for sure. That's the first thing. Uh, and we needed versatility of substrates. So going with the T250 with Brilliant Ink allowed us to print on untreated stocks and print at speeds of 500 feet a minute. So we went with TechNow for finishing. We had uh, the previous version of the TechNow line and we were very happy with that. Um, so the new TechNow line allows us to cut at 30 inches, which is a big uh, game changer for us. So we like the TechNow line because the speeds of 500 feet per minute, the ability to run 40 pound text all the way up to 10 point coded. So the dynamic perforator is barcode driven. We can preset jobs and it can run at 500 feet a minute. So it keeps up with the press. The web vision allows us to reconcile between jobs. Uh, barcode driven allows us to check address block placement as well as uh, multiple sheets per form. TechNow responding immediately, ordering parts for us is very important. That way we keep the line up and running. Minimum downtime. The TechNow line is easy to operate. I have uh, years experience running it. So the new generation was as friendly as the uh, first generation. And I enjoy running it because of the speed. About the HP 250 web, I like that. I could troubleshoot the, uh, about the quality. I could change the print heads on the fly as the press stop and clear up the quality issues in seconds. The response time in the Techno is pretty great. I can make a service call and I get an answer within under an hour uh, from the technician. And wherever the technician is at, a lot of times they'll help me troubleshoot the issues. If, if I can figure it out, then they'll just come right in. As we work through the system here, we've got our dynamic web align. This helps keep the web running very smoothly and stably, especially as you're, if you're dealing with some more challenging papers. Then moving on to the cutter. This is our Cutter C52. It's a double cutting cutter. It allows you to handle um, bleed print or get rid of flush lines. One of the unique features that's a totally unique feature for, for the Revolution 50 line and the Cutter C52 is this retractable cut section. This whole section that includes the cutter blades, the cross-cutting blades, retracts and pulls out, of, pulls out from the rest of the cutter. Makes it very easy to change the blade once the blade dulls, and also makes it easier to clear a jam. GG3 happens to have our stack rest 51L that allows the handling of sheets up to 30 inches in length. We've also got our stack rest 50 
which we've been working with uh, HP closely on. We've got the Stacker S50 in HP's uh, lab facility out in San Diego. That's going to be a great system uh, to allow you to handle very demanding papers, coded papers, thinking of postcards, uh, gloss coated postcards, for instance. Other things to think about with Revolution 50 is uh, we offer Internet of Things capability. Our engineers can get online and see exactly what's happening on the line through a system of sensors and controls. They'll see what's going on and help, again, diagnose any problem quickly. There's also other capabilities as part of that Internet of Things capability as well. Um, things like prompts that maybe some certain parts are starting to near the end of their useful life. So when you go in and service the system, you can maybe replace those parts before they actually take the system down. Uh, finally, as we're talking about Revolution 50, I want to also highlight that Revolution 50 isn't the only TechNow cut and stack solution that's available. We offer, also offer a variety of, of other systems. We've got our previous generation, the Stack 2020, Stack 2320 systems that run at a little bit lower speed, don't do quite the range of paperweights, but Maybe for some customers, that's the right solution. It doesn't cost quite as much as the Revolution 50. If you don't need a Cadillac solution, you don't need to pay the Cadillac price. Here at DG3, they've also got our Cutter 561 feeding an IBIS smart binder. The Cutter 561 is a very simple system. It doesn't really accommodate, for instance, flush lines very well and, and double cuts. But again, in an environment that doesn't need it, it's a, much, it's a much less expensive system. And of course, one of the things also in relation to the, having the 561 that I like to talk about with HP is, one of HP's sales points, of course, is their ability to come in and upgrade a, upgrade a press, take as here at DT3, where they had the T230, upgrade it to the T250. Similarly, TechNow also offers that kind of investment production. The 561 cutter here that they've got it has been in, 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 on sale for maybe something like 20 years or so. It's still supported, still sold indeed by Techno. So again, Techno offers, just as HP does, that high level of investment protection. At HP, we work with every partner, but today we're particularly happy to be working with our great partner, Techno. So on this line, Techno has their dynamic perfing system that's able to once again help DG3 maximize the impact that they can give to their customers with their piece. They can go white paper factories. So they start with nine point media. They come through, they put a specialized coating on it. They're hitting Grackle colors coded or Grackle color space for coded uh, with the Brilliant Ink set. Optimizer gives them the ability to print on any paper. But when you get to the finishing side, a dynamic perfing unit allows you to have piece level control over what you're getting in someone's mailbox. So it's really a, just one more way to make sure that the end users, your, the marketing agencies that are designing this, the brands are getting maximum return on their investment, the maximum ROI delivered to their customers, which companies like DG3 offer and excel at. We've also got here our WebVision quality monitoring system. And of course these days a lot of a lot of presses offer that kind of quality monitoring capability where they can go in and look at, make sure that there's no jet outs, check the color, make sure the color is true to the job. But I like to think of the Web Vision quality monitor as not just ensuring print quality, but also ensuring data quality, ensuring document quality. We can ensure data integrity, for instance, where we're looking at multiple pages of a document and making sure that the front side of a bill and the back side of the bill match for the same customer, for instance. So you can be sure that you've got a good quality document indeed, and not just good quality print. I mean, the future for DG3, um, we're going to continue to focus on the supply chain issues, obviously that's right in front of us, uh, but we're going to continue to buy equipment, become more efficient, and offer a broader range of products to our existing clientele. Um, you know, we always aim to be more efficient here at DG3, and we're going to invest in our people as well. For me, the, the, the most critical investment is within our people here at DG3. Without our people, um, none of this really matters. Anybody can buy a printing press, anyone can buy paper, anyone can buy ink, but if you don't have the staff that care about the clients as much as they do um, their peers, the business is never going to work for anybody.